Hello and welcome to my channel where I mostly share my love of fragrance and enjoying my collection. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing some of the new seasonal fragrance mists from Bath & Body Works. Thank you so much for stopping by and let's get started. So I picked up a lot of the new fragrance mists from Bath & Body Works, and I'm not sure if I'd consider these, you know, end of summer, into autumn, or fall uh, collections, but, um, you know, I wanted to go ahead and give them a try. These are actually almost all repeated scents, but they're all new to me. So I'm intrigued in trying the brand new scent Poppy and then all of the repromotes. So the first scent I have here is Poppy, and this seemed to be released on its own, and so I don't think it's part of a larger collection. And I wanna say that I think the packaging for this is cute. It's a little bit plain, but I like the added touch that they put here because if you look closely, you'll notice that the tube connected to the atomizer is actually green and kind of looks like the stem of the flower on the bottle, so I thought that was a nice touch. And Poppy has notes of fresh morning dew, wild poppies, sugared rhubarb, and juicy pear. And, you know, I feel like at first this is a really nice fruity scent. The rhubarb seems a little bit softer than the actual fruit, but it does still have, you know, a little kick to it. And, you know, overall, the scent just comes across very fruity, but also sweet. And I also feel like it has a little greenness to it. And, you know, I think that this is just a nice fruity floral um, for people who like those types of scents. It's nice to me, but I just don't feel like it's very special. Um, I do like the, you know, the mix of rhubarb and, you know, kind of that sweetness mixing with the soft floral. But it really just doesn't stand out to me as something, you know, new or especially different. And this next group of scents that I have seem to be part of a cohesive collection. And these are all re-promoted scents, but I've actually never tried any of them. So I was really excited to see some of them come back, especially Denim and Daisies and Pinkberry Clouds, because I have heard of those and was really interested in giving them a try. And I will say that I also do like the packaging on this collection. I think that the little accents of, you know, the flowers and the fruits are really cute. And I just find this overall collection very appealing. And let's go ahead and get on to the scents. So first up is Denim and Daisies, and this comes in the blue packaging with the little flowers for accents. And this one has notes of sweet daisies, sun-soaked denim, and summer citrus. And I found those notes kind of interesting. I'm not really sure what they think sun-soaked denim is supposed to smell like, but to me, I find that there's really a cleanness to this scent. I'm not sure that I would say it's denim-like, but, you know, I think it's overall, you know, a light floral scent. There's not a lot of the citrus to me, but there is kind of a subtle brightness throughout the scent. It just overall feels very soft and very clean. And I really do like this one, um, so I'm really glad that they brought this back, but I won't say that it's anything super outstanding. Um, I just think it's very pleasant and clean and kind of an easy-to-wear scent. And the next one is Pinkberry Clouds, and this comes in the pinkish packaging with the little raspberry accents and other fruits. And this one has notes of strawberry spun sugar, marshmallow fluff, and fresh air. And this one to me is very sweet, and it's kind of like powdery candy. Um, I definitely get, you know, that feeling of cotton candy only with some added fruitiness to it. And there's also an airiness that just makes it feel very light and not super sweet. So like almost like a airier, lighter version of like cotton candy clouds. And I really do like this one. I think this is one that I'll reach for a lot when I want something that's sweet, but maybe, you know, not quite as cloying and just kind of light and soft. And the last one in this collection is Sunwashed Citrus, and this comes in the sunny yellow packaging with the little lemons on it. And this one has notes of sugared lemons, mandarin, and agave nectar. And, you know, this really does smell like the bottle makes you feel. Um, it's really got a nice sugary lemon candy scent. It's very strong and tart, but yet has a sugary feel. And there is some sweetness, but you know, when it comes down to it, I really think the best way to describe it is that it just smells like lemon candy, um, kind of like lemon drops. Um, 
I'm not getting a whole lot of that agave nectar. You know, I definitely feel the, you know, that there is that impact from the sweetness, but it doesn't smell specifically like it to me. And I really do like this one. If you like citrus scents, um, lemon scents, I, I think definitely think that this is a fun one, especially for, you know, kind of the spring and summer months. And then the next collection that I have seems to kind of be based on food-like scents. And this one contains blueberry sugar pancakes, marshmallow pumpkin latte, and champagne apple and honey. And these are also all re-promoted scents, but I haven't tried any of these before, so I am really interested in what they smell like. And I also think that the packaging for this collection is cute. Um, you know, the cute little fruit accents and, you know, the kind of cartoon-like feel. I think it's really appealing as well. Um, so I think they did a good job on the packaging packaging, but let's get on to the scents. And the first scent is Blueberry Sugar Pancakes, and this comes in kind of the blue accented bottle. And this one has notes of sugared blueberries, fresh pancakes, and caramel cream drizzle. And, you know, I definitely will say this definitely represents its name because there is a very strong pancake scent as soon as you spray it. I'm also really picking up on the blueberries. And there's also some sweetness, which I think is supposed to represent the caramel drizzle, but it doesn't actually smell like caramel to me. But I feel like overall, this scent just smells too much like pancakes and too much like food to be something that I would wear. Um, I do think that the blueberry scent is nice and it kind of remains throughout the scent, but I just, I just don't think this one is for me. Um, you know, I don't mind gourmand scents or things that smell a little bit like food, but I, I just don't think I want to smell like pancakes. So, um, while it does, you know, calm down a little bit, the longer it remains on, I just feel like it's too, too much like food for me. So this one, unfortunately is a pass. And the next one is Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte and comes in the kind of orangey brown packaging. And this one has notes of pumpkin latte, toasted marshmallows, creamy sandalwood, and praline musk. And, you know, I, I definitely pick up the pumpkin here, but I don't find that it's overly strong. I'm not usually attracted to pumpkin scents because I also don't like the taste of pumpkin, but I don't find that it's, you know, off-putting here. And it actually kind of smells like a muffin to me at first. Um, and then the scent starts to become a little bit more creamy with some added sweetness and also has some additional warmth to it. I'm not really getting, you know, marshmallow or, you know, a latte-like scent specifically. It really smells more kind of like a generic, you know, bakery product with some pumpkin. Um, I think that it's okay, especially since I don't like pumpkin. I don't find that it's, you know, bad, but I just don't think that this one is really great. Um, but I kind of went in expecting not to like it. Um, so I think if you like pumpkin scents, you might enjoy it, but I just don't think it's for me. And the last scent in this collection is Champagne Apple and Honey, which comes in the red apple-themed packaging. And this one has notes of crisp apple, sparkling champagne, jasmine honey, and autumn woods. And this to me right off the bat smells like fresh apple cider. Um, it's actually kind of sharp and tart. And I find that it just has a very light hint of floral. It does, you know, soften after a while and become a bit sweeter, but I'm not really getting that honey note specifically, just, you know, a lot of apple. <laughs> and, you know, I do like the, you know, kind of apple cider like scent. Um, it feels a bit strong and I'm not sure that I want to smell like apple cider. Um, after a, you know, a long time, like a couple hours, <laughs> um, you know, it does get, you know, a bit softer and, and a little bit less like apple cider, but I'm not sure that I'm willing to invest the time in waiting for it to get to that point. So I have to say, it's a little bit of a mixed bag with this group of Bath & Body Works fragrances. I do think that Poppy is a nice scent. It just doesn't stand out as anything exceptional to me, but I do really like the packaging as well. And the first collection that I reviewed with Denim & Daisies, Pinkberry Clouds, and Sunwash Citrus, I think is really nice quality. I like the packaging, and I think the scents are all really something that I'll reach for, so I do really enjoy that collection. Unfortunately, I think that the more fall-themed collection 
complexion with the food-like scents was kind of a bust for me. I, I just think they're too strong and I don't want to smell that much like food. But if, you know, that's something that you enjoy, you might want to check those out. Um, so let me know what you all think of these fragrances if you've given them a try. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you'll subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.